in this video we'll see how to find out the global stiffness matrix so first we'll try to understand the formulation of element stiffness matrix and then we'll go in detail of global stiffness matrix so we know the basic that stiffness is nothing but load per unit deflection stiffness it is denoted by k load or force is f and deflection is delta or u so cross multiply by this u over here so you'll get f is equal to k multiply by u stiffness it is in newton per mm and u that is the deflection is in mm so that this mm mm will get cancelled and you'll get the balance of the units now this is the direction in which the deflection of the bar or deflection of the element is considered by the application of the load now for this particular node 1 so this is known as the node 1 and this is the node 2 if we apply f is equal to k u or k into delta u then for node 1 it will be from 1 to 2 so deflection is k multiplied by u1 minus u2 multiply by k inside the bracket so it will be k u1 minus k u2 similarly for node 2 f is equal to k into delta u so from 2 to 1 because the node that is under consideration is 2 again multiply by k inside the bracket so it is k u2 minus k u1 just rearrange the term first write down this minus k u1 term and this plus k u2 term afterwards now degree of freedoms number of nodes multiply by number of direction so number of nodes are 2 that is 1 and 2 so element 1 element is always represented by the circle the element is formed by 2 nodes 1 and 2 so number of nodes are 2 and the deflection or the deformation is considered only in x direction so number of directions are 1 so total degree of freedom of the system there are 2 and therefore f is equal to k into u so f vector is given by f1 f2 k is the stiffness which will be the coefficient of u1 and u2 over here so coefficient of u1 is k here it is minus k here minus k is the coefficient of u1 and k is the coefficient of u2 so this u is u1 u2 so vector u is given by u1 u2 so f1 and f2 the this particular formulation of f1 and f2 is represented in the vector and matrix form over here so f1 will be equal to k u1 minus k u2 f2 will be equal to minus k u1 plus k u2 according to the matrix multiplication now this concept is very very important for the formulation of the global stiffness matrix so here suppose we are having two elements 1 and 2 having the stiffness of k1 k2 it is subjected to the load p at node 3 and u1 u2 and u3 are the corresponding deformation of the nodes and x is the direction under consideration so reaction offered by the support is suppose they are and it is in the right hand side direction so you can assume any direction initially for this so one two so element one is formed by node one and two element two is formed by node two and three again degree of freedoms number of nodes into number of direction so there are three degrees of freedom one two and three so that is three multiply by number of direction that is one that is this particular x direction so total degree of freedom are three so our matrix will be of three by three form now for element one and for element two what you will have over here is that for element one as it is between one and two we can say that the element stiffness matrix is given by k1 minus k1 minus k1 k1 for the node 1 and 2 as there is the degree of freedom they are 3 so it should be 3 by 3 matrix so there is no element in the third row and third column so all zeros are placed over here similarly element 2 it lies between 2 and 3 having stiffness of k2 so for element 2 matrix k2 will be equal to k2 minus k2 minus k2 k2 but it is between nodes 2 and 3 
the element 2 is between nodes 2 and 3. It is not having any element for the node 1. So first row and first column, they are all 0. So global stiffness matrix will be given by K1 plus K2. Matrix K1, this is the entire matrix K1 and this is the entire matrix K2. So we have to add the corresponding elements of this matrices. So K1 plus 0, that is then minus K1 plus 0, then 0 plus 0 and so on. So in this way, we can add the matrices. So K1 plus 0, then minus K1 plus 0, then 0 plus 0. Similarly, minus K1 plus 0, then K1 plus K2, 0 minus K2 and so on. So that you will get the global stiffness matrix that is K1 minus K1 0, minus K1, K1 plus K2, minus K2, 0 plus 0 that is 0, minus K2 and K2 for the nodes 1, 2, 3. Here also you can write down 1, 2 and 3, but for the sake of simplicity, we have written only on this particular set. And we know that stiffness it is expressed in Newton per mm. The global force vector is F1, F2, F3. For node 1, reaction R is under consideration, the positive x direction. There is no load that is acting at the node 2, so it is 0. And at load at node 3, the load that is acting is suppose say P. So global force vector is given by R0 and P. That is in place of F1, it is R. In place of F2, it is 0. And in place of F3, it is P. The global displacement vector is U1, U2, U3. Now, as the node 1 is fixed, we can say that u1 is 2e, u1 has to be equal to 0. So u1, u2 and u3 are the global displacement vector. Then f is equal to ku. So vector f is r0 and p, k already we have derived and u is u1, u2, u3. Now using this, first we will calculate the reaction r. So r will be equal to k1, u1 minus k1 u2 plus 0 u3 that is the first row and this particular column the multiplication of this will give you the first equation then second row and this column so it is minus k1 u1 k1 plus k2 u2 minus k2 u3 that will give you this particular one second equation and then third equation will be third row and the corresponding column so 0 u1 minus k2 u2 plus k2 u3 so these are the three equations and if you apply the boundary condition then u1 is equal to 0 so as u1 is equal to 0 we can eliminate this so you will be left with only k1 plus k2 minus k2 minus k2 and k2 and then u2 u3 so our equation is k1 plus k2 u2 minus k2 u3 then minus k2 u3 plus k2 u3 minus k2 u2 plus k2 u3 these are the equations when u1 is equal to 0 so these are the equations 2 and 3 which are the modified form of the previous equations putting u1 is equal to 0 and eliminating the first row and this first column and this is known as the elimination approach and using this approach we can easily find out the unknowns which are there in the system so this is the global stiffness matrix and this is this entire relation is the load stiffness and displacement relationship